This is Lost in Electronics. Uh, today we're actually going to have a, uh, what today our video is going to be about is how to be able to uh, use a program through called RetroArch. Um, normally you can, if you're using Fedora, you can go use the software center and just type in RetroArch. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the program. I already got some emulators already downloaded, so we're just going to go ahead and use the one that I already have here. So normally how you want to import them, you go click on the import content. Then we go and click on to how you want to use scan. It's going to say manual for this point. What directory you want to look at here. So you just select your directory you want to place out. And then you go down here and you tell it to scan it would pick up data. So what we're going to do here is there's two games I've downloaded. But we're just going to show you the example. This one here is the Simpsons game here. So if we want to start playing, we'll just go ahead and double click on it. Tell it to start playing it. Not very good at the game, but this at least is how you can play here. It's, it's called Simpsons Nightmares, running pretty well on this uh, to this thing, and it's been already upscaled. So this is that game here, and then what we can also do is if we want to be get back into it, we'll go back to Retro Arch. And get you can go have a couple of them here. Let's go ahead and go to games. Let's go to So that's what happens when you game you get a game that's not is not configured right for what your settings are for. Yeah, that's what happens. So we got a couple different things we can do here. Let's first make sure we got the correct uh video driver here. And then we got here, and it shows you what kind of input sources you have, and it goes through that one. So we're going to go back here, and let's go ahead and get games, and let's go ahead and go click on this gun. And if you know how, let's go ahead and reset core. Set core. We're going to have this gate. Let's go ahead and try this one right here. That's how you can always see if you don't have the right driver. It's really easy to select here. So all you have to do is make sure you always configure it based off your video card. So that's why it's important. If you want to see what the frame rates is getting here, we can definitely go here. We're going to go ahead and click on road up or ROM here. And we're just going to go ahead and see the Simpsons. Open it here. You can see I'm getting about 60 frames on the video here. So there's two couple different emulators. I like RetroArch better because you got a lot more you can have on it, but you do have other emulators you can use. So there is a couple different things you can do here for uh, doing different recording, this different games, and then you just need to find your ROM sites. Uh, there's quite a few good ones out there um, that you can be able to use. So that way you can be able to start downloading and playing retro games. Not only does this actually work on downloading. Uh, uh, go and actually download it on your PC, but you can also download it and play it on your Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 3. Um, so they do the Hascape. This is also a great way if you have um, either kids that you need you like to play some retro games with, or even potentially if you maybe have maybe you maybe want to go to your TV set and maybe you want to play game play some or a game, especially with a lot of the older game consoles won't work on the newer TVs because with the HDMI output they start they start sometimes have random problems. At least with emulating, you can at least get it to work. Our nice thing about it, if you have an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, you can plug in using it. The Xbox definitely works there. Um, so you do have the capabilities of plugging in and using uh, at least the game controllers through it. Um, you can also get your own controller. So you have multiple different other kind of controllers you can get for a PC uh, that does work here. 
Um, this is another example of uh, Linux and playing some retro games. Because you get frame rates, as long as you've got a good video card and an okay processor, even older hardware can run this pretty well. Uh, so that's the nice thing about everything here. Um, so this is uh, this is what we're gonna be about. The video is gonna be about today is mainly just kind of going through retro arch here and going through this. We'll go out and play a few more minutes of this gameplay so you can actually see what it's like here. We're gonna go back to retro arch. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure we got this time here. This is how you can always go configure here. We're going to go make sure we got the right drivers. This time we're going to uh, use a Vulkan. And then we're going to go back in, go back to our games here. Let's see if here we can, should be around that. That's what happens when you choose the wrong driver set for your game here. So, so again, it's kind of playing. You're trying to figure out what driver sets work best for whatever game you're trying to use. So if you don't know, you can play around with them or look them up here. Let's try this one here. So that's what happens when you keep on getting a game. So we're going to go back to The Simpsons. what happens when you pick up the wrong driver set so we're going to go ahead and go back and select the right one this time so we're going to go back to retro arch we're going to go back to settings we're going to go back to drivers use and we're going to select uh let's go ahead and use the gl core and then we're going to go ahead and video video output GL core, cool. And we're going to go back to our game and we should be able to play it. This is what happens when you get when you get your games misconfigured. So it's a good idea to make sure you've got everything properly configured again. So we'll go back to settings, driver. Make sure we're using the just the GL one. Good. And then we're just going to go back to game and it should play it this time. Nope. And then we're going to go ahead. So this is what you kind of configure out what you what there is. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our settings, video output, output video. Should I use the GL one this time? See what we got here. So what happens to crashes? That's okay. I found a more better emulator you can also use, which is this guy right here. No drum. Simpsons. And there we go. This is all fresh. You can get your frame rate. So you can do it really high speed. So that is an example of what you can be able to do here. You got a whole bunch of different things, video settings. You got your system settings. So you got a lot of different options you can use. You should have the right emulator for what you're trying to do. This is why it's important to make sure you got the right driver set for what you're trying to do. This game's kind of like Frogger a little bit. So we're just going to go through this here and play a little bit of gameplay. And 
This is Retro Arch here, uh, running it through kind of there. We can go to other games, and I'll show some other games in the future if you like this content. So we're going to go ahead and quit this game here. This is just a great preview of what's going to be on here some video. We'll have some more in the future besides having some there. So make sure we just configure here. you got a lot of options in RetroArch you can do here, like just like we are saying. We can go to settings, and we can go out to uh, different configurations, video output. So if you want to make it, scale it, spend it, what kind of settings you want to have. You do have options you can do here. So this is another game you can play here. So it's easier if you use a controller here. This is where I would normally have my Xbox controller, but we got the game working here. So normally that's what you would be able to do. And as soon as you select your character here, and we'll have a um, I'll go ahead and hook up my uh, Xbox controller here in my next section uh, session here of what basically what it looks like when we're actually playing some games. That's just a uh, test of what kind of we can do here, what kind of games you can play. Uh, one was a Sega Genesis game, and the other one was an, uh, in a Nintendo 64 game. The both of them ran really well, um, and we could do a lot more configurations depending on what type of video card and what you're trying to run. Uh, the nice thing about these projects are, especially they're on Linux, um, they can run on a Raspberry Pi. Your video may not be as smooth as what is on the computer, but it does have the capability of writing it. A lot of the Sega Genesis NES games, those run really well. Um, so again, it does. It, the nice thing about it is that it, uh, depending on your system specs, uh, you can run these, a lot of these emulated games really well and upscale them, and uh, the customizations are there. It's just a matter of what you want to do.